Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make kedgeri, which is um, a, a lightly curried rice dish with some flaked smoked haddock um, incorporated into it and then some hard boiled eggs uh, placed on the top. Now kedgeri seems to have been around um, with a slightly different name in India since the 1300s uh, kichuri it seems to be called there and that is a, a legume and rice dish basically but uh, with the, the British in India during the Victorian times um, they used smoked haddock and they brought it over to the UK and it seems that it was served at breakfast but these days um, it's very good for brunch or lunch um, and it's even eaten for dinner. So it's not a difficult recipe at all really and it's very very tasty. So I'll go on to the ingredients. And for this I have 750 grams which is 26 and a half ounces of smoked haddock. Now I wanted um, undyed smoked haddock but I couldn't get that uh, except in very small fillets and I wanted it larger than that so I've got the dyed version and it's perfectly fine. Uh, I have 500 grams, two and a half cups of long grace grain rice, one litre, four cups of vegetable stock, 77 grams uh, which is five tablespoons and a half a tablespoon, five and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter, one large onion chopped, three large eggs, extra large in the USA, which I have hard boiled and I'm going to cut those in half when I need them. I have uh, eight grams, one tablespoon of curry powder, uh, about one gram, half a teaspoon of uh, ground turmeric, 15 curry leaves, which you can omit, if you don't have them, that's fine. And uh, six cracked cardamom pods. So six cardamom pods, which I've hit with something heavy and cracked them open. I also have uh, two cloves of garlic, which I have minced. And I should say that many recipes don't use any garlic at all. And you may notice that there's no salt uh, on here. And uh, most recipes don't use any salt either, although the, the smoked haddock tends to be reasonably um, salty. I'm also going to use 1250 millilitres, five cups or thereabouts of water for cooking the rice. And the first thing we're going to do is to cook the haddock and we cook that in our vegetable stock. And then I'm going to set the haddock to one side so it can cool down and then I can take the skin off and, and break it into flaky pieces basically. And to cook the haddock the first thing I need to do is to bring my stock to a boil. So with my uh, stock boiling I'm going to put my haddock in and make sure that it's covered by the stock and I'm going to simmer it for eight minutes. And I should have said that I'm going to have the skin side of the fish facing upwards as I simmer it. So I've, I've simmered that for eight minutes and I'm going to take it out and put it onto a plate to cool down. And I can already see that it's very flaky. And then I'm going to um, just scoop out a little bit of that stock, the cooking liquid. And I'm going to keep that to one side because I may need to put that into the kedgeri towards the end. The rest I will discard. And uh, so uh, with my 1250 millilitres of water, in a uh, larger saucepan, 
I'm going to put my rice in like that and I'm going to bring that to the boil and then I'm going to uh, cover it, give it a quick stir and cover it uh, and let it simmer gently on a reduced heat or cook gently on a reduced heat uh, for 13 minutes. And with my fish cooling down I'm simply going to remove the skin from the fish. You can use a knife to scrape it off or you can peel it off anyway and I'm going to break it into flakes and it flakes quite easily and put it into a bowl and do the same with the remainder so my rice is now just starting to boil so I'm going to give that just a quick stir like that and I'm going to reduce the heat and cook it gently with the lid on for 13 minutes. My rice has cooked gently um, for 13 minutes and it now has holes in the top um, which means that the water has mainly um, evaporated I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to set that aside uh, with leaving the lid on for 10 minutes. And as the, the rice rests I'm going to put my butter into a pan and I'm going to let that melt. And as that melts, I'm going to put my curry leaves in and my cardamom pods. And I'll stir those around and let those cook just for a, a short while, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And then I'm going to add in my onion. and my garlic and I'm going to saute them until the onions just begin to turn a little bit brown And I can see that the onion is softened now and it's just beginning to turn a little bit. So I'm going to put in my curry powder and my turmeric. And I'll turn the heat down just a little bit and I'm going to cook those for a couple of minutes. And I'll turn the heat off and set that to one side for a moment so I can go back to the rice and the rice is now nice and cooked. I'll just test that. Yes that's cooked well. So I'm going to put that into my pan. And I'll turn the heat back on just gently.
And I'll turn that over. And then I'll add the remainder. And I'll toss that again. And what I'm going to do, if you remember, I reserve just a little bit of my cooking liquid for the fish and I'm going to pour a little bit of that in. I'll add a little drop more I think. So that's about 120 millilitres that I've added in. That's just going to keep that all nice and moist. And now it's time to put the, the haddock in as well. I'm going to gently stir that through and then I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to place my eggs on the top now, of course, I will actually do this in a presentation bowl, um, usually, but I'm doing it like this just so that I can show you. And I do have here a little bit of uh, chopped coriander, fresh coriander. Now I'm not putting that on at the moment because I'm taking some of this round to my niece and she doesn't like that so I'm reserving that for me. So that's it as it stands um, ready to be eaten. So I'm going to have a little taste of it and I'll have a taste of it straight out of the pan there So I've got some, some of the rice and the fish. Mm. Very, very nice. It's not over hot. Now I've seen some recipes where they put some green chilies in. And if you want to do that, you can do that. But I don't like very spicy food, so I would never do that. Um, but a lot of people do and that would work perfectly fine so that's going to be it for this recipe I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there'll be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking